Hello and welcome to another one of my videos um, on my um, smart home automation um, installation. I've decided to change a couple of my garden lights over to the Philips smart bulbs. Um, this particular light here is at the side of the house and it lights just lights up a courtyard area. There's a path and things like that. And at the moment, it's got um, one of these spiral CFL lights, it's a bayonet fitting, you, you know they come in Ed Edison screw as well and I'm going to replace it with an LED Philips version which is obviously it works with Philips Hue, I've got the Hue bridge inside and this is also a bayonet cap, uh, they're roughly the same size so that should fit straight in. So on to the next part. Right so we've got the front of the um, uh, light fitting off just comes up without out of a screw and uh, now we're just going to change the bulb over so push down and twist it might be different ones you've got generally they're all the same and let's put this Phillips one in doesn't matter which way it goes in and next I'll be putting that back onto there okay welcome back so the bulb the new Phillips bulb is in there we've replaced this old CFL uh, it's in there, it's all tight, it's sealed. I may add a peak, may add a bit of sealant along the top just to protect a bit more, but it doesn't get a lot of rain here, so it's, that'll be fine. Just power it on to test it. So that's on. Okay. So the next step is to add it to my Philips Hue bridge. So this uses the um, Zigbee wireless technology, as you can see there. So what I need to do, so I'm, I've Lift, left on at the moment, go to my iPad and so what we want to do here is um, what are we doing? Uh, light setup, so we want to add a light and you can enter the serial number, each light has a, each Philips Hue bulb has a serial number on the side but uh, the search facility is quite handy because it saves time, so we're going to search for this should come up in a few seconds which it has done so it's really simple to do so that's come up there hue white lamp one so I want to go on the info icon I'm just going to go back a minute and I'm going to call this um, garden lights I've got garden lights a and b so I'm going to call this garden lights a lamp two Showing you how easy it is to garden, and capitalize it all. Lights A, oops, lamp two, keep it all organized. Uh, garden lights A, lamp two, that's, that'll be done. Okie dokie. Right, next thing to do is go back and with the Philips Hue bulb system you have rooms you can set it up how you want but so I'll just show you what I've done room set up living room my room front bedroom and I've added a room called garden lights a for these two bulbs bulbs got one there and one around the side of the house just as a sort of a test uh, so we're going to go on this room which I've, I've given a flower icon now we've already got this set up um, taken off the default scene scenes like dimming and things I don't really need that for this it's sort of just on bright so we need to add we've already got garden lights a lamp one added you can call this whatever you want but obviously you need to know what things are if you've got a few of them which I have let's add lamp two so it's a matter of tapping it save it's a really good system this so that's done so we've got our light we've got, a la we've got both lamps sorted and added and then we've got um, garden, as you can see there, the room set up with the room, room types. If I want to change the icon, I'll go garden. And there's a whole load of icons you can choose. Driveway, and it's, it's really good. Right, uh, let's, go, let's go back then. I'm going to go home. Um, so if I tap this to turn them both off, 
they'll both go off. So I'll just show you that. Uh, where are we? Just want to get a good shot. Decent because it's quite high up. So as I'm as I'm turning it on and off, you can see. Now I can click on that, and we can bring the brightness down for both of them, or the brightness down for just one of them. So I'm going to scroll to the, slide to the left, and I'll get dimmer, and I'll slide to the right. And there we go, it's easy as that. And I've got this integrated with Alexa, so I can tell it to turn the garden lights A off or on. Um, and that's about it really. So if you did want to um, change the light bulbs in your garden, if you've got um, bulkheads like this, these are only cheap bulkheads, a couple of pound, but you might have better ones. And that's an easy way of doing it. You save a bit of uh, electric as well and you can obviously have scheduled tasks and all sorts for example if I go on settings uh, where have we got here du, 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 du. somewhere on here somewhere oh routines that's it for example you can have like go to sleep wake up timers and things you turn things on and off like home and away um, you can have the lights coming on when you're leaving going off etc this go to sleep icon will be quite um, mode will be quite handy to turn the lights off when you've sort of gone to bed. But that's about it. So, and if you've got any questions, ask me. Thanks.